Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 4th and 5th, Wednesday and Thursday, for my Aquariuses. How are you, my Aquariuses? How are you? Okay, so anyway, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, I use my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. So, remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. One card just fell out. I'm an intuitive channeler, and what does that mean is that higher power, spirit guide, angel, you know, I mean, it doesn't even, the message doesn't even um, solidify in my brain. It just comes in and pops out. So, you know, and it's best that I don't have the filter to do that because, like I said, I've said this many times over, and you know this, I just wouldn't say it if I did. If I knew what I was going to say, I wouldn't say a lot of it. So let's go on. Okay. Three cards face down for my Aquariuses. All of them are reversed. Reverse cards to me mean it's a little stronger message, so pay attention. First card, Wednesday, Thursday, for my Aquariuses is the moon. They, okay, so what's being revealed to you? Normally the moon to me is something is being hidden. But in this case, it's really coming strong that something is going to be revealed. Something's coming out into the open. Something you may not have want. May, no, 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 I'm not going to say that. No, no, no. Not that you have not wanted. Something you really did not know about. And now it, I feel like there's this big revelation that's coming for you uh, or coming to you. Um, I think that it actually will be very positive also. So the moon is the opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition, please. This is really strong for my Aquarians too. Listen to your intuitions for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger, okay? So I feel like there's gonna be something that's revealed to you that's actually, you have to, you have to acknowledge it, you have to face it, you have to deal with it. You may not want to, but you have to. And because you do, it actually works out so much better for you. Okay? Okay. Next card again, the Empress. Okay, so to me, Archangel Gabriel, the Divine Messenger. Okay? So I feel like, again, I feel like you're going, something's going to be revealed. It's, you're probably going to get some news. And, you know, it may be, you know, actually, I feel like, you. okay, I kind of see this letter. It's like you have this letter in your hand. I'm not saying that the news will come. This is just what's being kind of giving me some idea. It's like you have this letter and you don't want to open it. You just don't want to open it. You just, please, you don't want to open it. And then you open it and you're like, wow, look at that. So is that a financial blessing? It could be a financial blessing coming. But, you know, the Empress is about giving. You know, the Empress is about taking care of your needs and some of your wants too. So, you know, again, there's something that's going to be revealed. It, you know, again, I feel like you've got, you know, have you ever had that letter and you're just like, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to open it because it's like, no, 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 no. Now, while, while it says here to also follow your intuition, we do bring a lot of our fear, our past fear in. So, okay, so, so go ahead and open the letter. Go, and I'm not, I, that's metaphorically speaking. That's what's being kind of giving to me as an example for you. So, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. And your last card, the Six of Raphael. Raphael is our fluid, emotional water energy, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And this is about, again, so this might be something that you, you know, maybe... This is about inner child. This is about, you know, um, like embracing your inner child. This is like when you have that, you know, maybe there's been something in your past that has, has always kept you from, you know, that whatever that fear is, and it kind of goes backwards a little bit. So this is kind of taking that inner child and saying, hey, it's okay, we're grown up now, or I'm grown up, I'll take care of you now. Okay, whoever, somebody needed to hear that. And sometimes that's what you need to do. Sometimes you even act, you need to parent your inner child. For some reason, that child um, got stuck somewhere, you know, in an emotional state, and you need to parent them and tell them it's okay. It's okay that you'll take care of it. And believe it or not, that actually helps to release that whatever that was that was holding that child back. It's not, it's not going to be like a one-time thing. It's because many times triggers trigger this over and over response. But 
you know, again, whatever this is being revealed, and I, I feel that this is probably going to be more on a personal basis or family basis. I don't think it's really in your job per se, though I do think that resources will be coming probably from an income. I do feel like, you know, I, you know, when I say that mail, you know, there could be check in the mail type of thing. So you've got a lot of energy going on for Wednesday and Thursday, a ton of energy going on. And so part of it, you know, there's going to be that worry, that fear. You have to face it. You, you know, you will find out it's going to be actually better than what you thought it was. You know, and again, that whatever that fear is, it's probably from that inner child. Okay, okay, we talked enough about that. So embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. The thing, though, that grabs me the most. So again, something being revealed, inner child, we got all of that. But then... We hear, and we hear the news, we hear, you know, that it, we, it's whatever's revealed is revealed. But in the long run, in the short run, I think in the short run and the long run, it benefits us, okay? It benefits my Aquarians, it, 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 you know. And I feel like, again, check in the mail, I feel like, you know, there will be maybe some financial benefit to it too, okay? Okay, so luxurious or abundant resources. Yeah, I'm really, that's really strong here. So my Aquarius says, wow, a lot of this will be you releasing so that you can go into that, you know. I don't know who it is that's afraid. I feel like, you you know, maybe, you know, I don't know what, what the next step is. You know, the next step's facing you and it's kind of scary, but you get through it and actually you get through it better than you thought it was, than you ever thought you would. And you're so glad that you faced it. So my Aquarius says... If you enjoyed my reading, please remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. And as always, my Aquariuses, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.